guys Vince here and in this video I'll be showing you how I'm making my very own Dawn of Justice Batman cape. So first I'm going to show you what I'm using as a guide to help me make the cape. Now this is completely accidental. I was in the fabric section at Walmart looking for supplies and I stumbled upon this right here. Now this is a little pack with patterns and instructions on how to make these costumes right here. Now what caught my attention I noticed this girl is wearing a cape back here so I thought hmm does it have a pattern for how to make a cape and yes it does. Now here's a little example of all the patterns that come in the pack and what I'm mainly interested in is this right here. Notice this looks almost exactly like Batman's cape. It even has the seam going down the middle. So this is the back of the cape and this is the front right here and it even brings instructions on how to sew it. So yeah now I have a template for my cape. I didn't even have to like measure it myself and figure out everything myself. So yeah nice little pattern at Walmart for nine dollars even though I'm only interested in the cape but yeah it's nice to have all that I guess so now I'm gonna show you the fabric I'm using for the cape alright so this is the fabric I'm using for the outer layer of my cape or the back and it's a black vinyl I got at Hobby Lobby and it was actually on sale for $6.99 a yard so I got three yards and it's also like 58 inches thick you want to make sure it's wide too because remember Batman's cape isn't just one straight piece of cloth it folds it flows it, it could open up like wings so make sure it's long enough so three yards should do the trick now this is actually a different fabric from my gauntlets and the boots because this is a different texture now notice it has wrinkles like that which is how Batman's cape looks like in the movie if you look closely at some shots where you see like his shoulders he has these wrinkles so this is why I got three yards notice that the cape is long enough that it reaches the floor but also wide enough that I can open it up like that and it can fold and flow and look nice Ugh. So yeah, that's my movie accurate fabric right there. Now for the inside of the cape, I got another fabric in order to save money. I didn't want to buy six yards of the expensive vinyl, so I got this instead, which isn't really screen accurate, but it won't look bad if it's on the inside. It's black anyway, so black always looks good. Yeah, I got three yards of this as well, and this is gonna be sewn onto the outer layer. All right, now that I have my fabrics, I'm gonna go ahead and Cut them up. Okay, so I've laid out the pattern. Now the instruction says that the cape is piece 25 and 25A and they connect with piece 26. So here's piece 25. So you notice, you see this line right here? This is the cape right here. That's actually the back lining of the cape. And then it goes around like that. And that's gonna be like the edge of the cape. And you know, to do the other side, it will be flipped and the two sides will be sewn together. And to connect the cape, I'll be using piece 26 right here. So this is the part that's gonna go around the neck, that wraps around the neck and holds the cape onto your head. So now I'm gonna cut this shape off, tape it together. All right, so there's one half of the template for the cape there, and it's just right, and it's just the right size for me pretty cool. Now what I'm going to do is tape this straight onto the fabric and just cut around it from there. So there's half a cape. Now for the other side I'm just going to use this piece and flip it so it's nice and symmetrical. Just do the same thing. Alright so there's the full cape. Look at the texture. Now I'm going to repeat the same steps but for the inner layer. So I'm about to cut out the inner layer and you know what I decided I might as well cut out the little bat wing shaped titties. Alright now that I got both the outer layer and the inner layer of the cape I'm going to pin them down. Alright so the cape has been pinned down and I have it here on my mannequin. Now I need to do the piece that connects right here through the neck. So remember that 26 piece earlier, it's right here. So I'm guessing it's, it's gonna go something like this. Like that. So I'm gonna trace this onto the vinyl. All right, so there we 
as they are. They're gonna go like that. Now, just gotta get this thing sewn together and I'll meet you back here when it's done. Okay, the cape has been sewn together. Check it out. You can see the seams here. That's fine. They're not that noticeable. Check out the lining right there. Cool. Back. See the seam running down here. Pretty cool. So now I'm just gonna add the buttons that go right here. Now I don't know exactly what connects Ben Affleck's cape. Uh, I'm assuming maybe some magnets that attach to the shoulders or some hooks. I don't know, I'm not sure. But let's not overcomplicate ourselves. I'm just gonna add some buttons there and that should be good enough. Okay, so for the buttons, I'm gonna be using these heavy duty snap on buttons. Now the cape is quite heavy, so I don't want them to be snapping off. And it's a kit, so it comes with the tools, so you can do it yourself. Now I'm just gonna add these on to the little neck parts. All right, so I've marked where I'm gonna punch the holes for the buttons right here. And like this. And I'm gonna bring out my handy dandy X-Acto knife. I'm just gonna pierce through the fabric, just like that. And as the instructions on the kit tells me, I'm gonna put this piece on this side. One side, and we'll do the other side where the buttons go. Now it's similar, but instead it's gonna be these two pieces. So same thing. Alright, so here are the buttons. Now they should be able to snap. So let's see. There you go, you hear that tick? Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now on the bright side, it is very strong, so it won't be falling off my neck anytime soon. But on the downside, it's actually a little too strong, meaning every time I snap it off, it might break the fabric. So in order to avoid that, I'm just gonna slip it over my head. I'm not even gonna bother snapping it on and off. So yeah, let's see how it looks on my neck. And it should slide over my head just like that. And there you go, it's hanging on there nicely. Now keep in mind that the cowl will be covering this, so no worries there. Also, I'm going to be folding the shoulders in on top of the cowl to give it that nice screen accurate aesthetic. But for now, it's just going to hang on there. And there's my cape. because what they charged me just for the sewing was actually more than the fabric itself. They actually ended up charging me $45 for the sewing, which makes this cape out to be a little over $100, which is not what I wanted to spend. But unfortunately, I had to because I don't know how to sew and I don't have a sewing machine. So yeah, knowing how to sew is really a plus right there. I've also heard that not every machine can sew vinyl, so you have to find a special tailor that can do vinyl for you, not just any tailor. So there's that too. But overall, it's finished. Here's my cape. I'm happy with it. Time to move on to the next piece. And yeah, that's it for this video. And you know, do all that stuff you do, you know, subscribe, like the video, like my Facebook page, and uh, comment below or whatever. And uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Peace.